see a lot of you guys have problems with the, the VSA on and it's showing on the dashboard, the two lines and the dots. Uh, if you get a chance, you should replace this switch. This switch might be an easy fix. Um, it's like, it's probably like 10 to $20 from the dealer. And you just, uh, use the side lining here. Even though there's an underlining cover down here. I'm going to just pull it from the side. You can tug it from the side here. And, uh, loosen it up. So the bottom liner came down. That's a simple, just slide it on. Just push this out like this. Pull it out. The VSA. VSA switch is right here so what you do is you press on the tab here to take out the connector connection is out then you press there's a tab on the top here and there's a tab on the bottom so you press the tab on the bottom and the top and the button pops out. Just replace this button. <sighs> replace this button. Then you should be good to go. If you can't turn off your VSA. This is for the people that can't turn it off. That it won't turn off. And you put this. You just slide this back in. Through the front. It snaps into place. With these tabs set. Put the plug back in, just slide it in, and then you just uh, see the tabs here. This is what locks into these grooves, and you just push it up and lock it into place. That's it. And then you just put the cover liner back, sit it. Tabs. Just lock it in place. Oh, this is that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.